The top 14 final at the Stade de France, Toulouse versus La Rochelle, what a game and what a finish. Now, before I get started, I just want to say that that was the greatest atmosphere I've ever seen at a rugby game. I've been fortunate enough to travel the world to go to loads of stadiums around the world. I've never experienced anything like that. Check this out. Now, if you didn't watch the game, you'll just see the headlines. Roman Intermac is the hero. And yes, he is. But did you know that the headlines could have been very, very different? Because in the build up to that try, he made a couple of big mistakes. Well, who cares, Jared? He scored the winner. He's the hero. Why does it matter? It doesn't matter. But I care because 95% of players would have crumbled under pressure, especially after making two massive mistakes, mistakes that could have cost him the game. But instead, he brushed it off. And he scored the winner. 67 minutes in, La Rochelle up by one point, Toulouse on the attack. Roman Intermac puts in a chip. La Rochelle regather and get rid of it, safety first, but it hasn't gone into touch. Guess who's waiting for it? It's Roman Intermac. The perfect time to counter attack. He tries to put it on the boot, misjudges it, it bounces up, it hits his hand, it's a knock on. Fast forward to the 73rd minute, Toulouse win a penalty, and this feels like a massive moment in the game. La Rochelle are four points up, and Toulouse go for the corner. Roman Intermac steps up and kicks the ball dead. To make things even worse, it's a double whammy. La Rochelle now have a scrum on the 40 meter and they win a penalty. Anything can happen in a rugby game. We all know that. But at this point, sat in the stands, I was pretty confident that La Rochelle would just take their time with the kick and then run down the clock and win the game. At this point, Intermax's head must be all over the place. I mean, when I was playing, if I make one mistake, I think about it for months. He's made three big mistakes in a final. Surely he's then not going to go and win them the game or we'll do something magical. Or is it? Two minutes to go, Dupont to Intermax, 60 meters out. And he does this. Time comes out, he's made his way past two players. Oh. Three players, four players, Roman Intermax, Roman Intermax. No way, no way. Unbelievable. I don't think anybody can believe it. Start to lose out every single top 14 final. The guy's a superhero. I mean, you've got to applaud the guy. Two minutes to go. You're four points down in a top 14 final. You've just made three mistakes. Mistakes that could have cost you the top 14 final. And then you go and do that from 60 meters out. Anyway, what a game. What a finish. What an atmosphere. And what a blow. I will say, if you haven't been to a top 14 final... You need to go. Put it on your bucket list. It was the greatest game I've ever been to for so many reasons. Yes, it was a it was a good game and it was a great finish. But the atmosphere and the fans are what made it so much more special. An hour before, there's singing, there's dancing, there's drums, there's chanting. It's I've never experienced anything like it in rugby and I would highly recommend it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and... Maybe give it a like or drop me a comment. Okay, see you soon.